Hey mamas, welcome to day seven of our 21 day postpartum ab challenge. Today we've made it all the way one week through the challenge. So if you've made it this far, thank you. I'm so proud of you. And use this as your encouragement to keep going. It'll only get better from here. Today we're gonna work on mobility and that's code for just releasing tension, helping mobilize the spine, the core, the glutes, and get everything primed and ready for our day. Um, our second week of the workouts. So what we're gonna start with today is a child's pose. So you're gonna bring your knees wide, toes together, push your hips back, extend the arms, and just melt to the floor. Take deep breaths. In today's workout, I don't want you to worry about engaging your core, tightening your abs. Just do what's comfortable. So let your belly hang, just relax. Take deep breaths, but breathe in a way, again, that is promoting relaxation. So let go of tightness in your abs, even though that's the opposite of what we've been doing. Today's goal is to release tension because we need a little recovery. I'd be remiss to say we need to work the core every day and never give ourselves at least one rest day a week. So we're gonna do that today. Now we're gonna take it into a frog stretch. So you're gonna take your knees a little bit wider, fan the feet out, and then starting on the forearms, we're gonna gradually work our way down to the floor. Now, you may be really tight in your inner thighs, and so that may prevent you from going to the floor. That's me, so I'm gonna start here, and then kind of gradually work my way down. And if you even need to, you can pull those forearms closer, you can prop yourself up here, you can bring the knees a little closer together, but we wanna try to just gradually work down and I can tell I'm already starting to open up here. It just takes a little bit of time. With all this stuff, just takes time. Again, breathe, promoting relaxation and trying to help open things up. And that really helps. The breath really helps to release that tension. So don't discount it here. Try to release the neck, even the upper body. You can't, you realize you're holding the tension there, even in your face, your neck. We wanna let all of that go. All right, now we're gonna move to a T-spine opener. So onto the hands and knees in that quadruped position we're familiar with now. We're gonna take the front arm, salute, and then tuck under toward the back. So open, tuck under. Open, tuck under. And we're just trying to mobilize through the thoracic spine, the upper back, tucking under, dropping the hips a little bit to reach that elbow through the back toward the back armpit, toward the back wall. Whatever feels good here. You can also kind of go closer to the floor. This doesn't have to be incredibly precise. You're just trying to open things up. And everybody's got a different level of flexibi flexibility here, so don't sweat it if this is your first time doing this and you can barely like open up. Just use that as your sign, like, hey, I need to work on this more. And for me, I'm really tight in my upper back and chest, so. I need to do this one even more than I already do, if I'm being honest. All right, we're gonna do that same thing other side. So I'll face you this time so I don't have to look to the back wall. For me, this side is a little bit better. So every side of your body is gonna be a little bit different. Each side of your body is gonna be a little bit different. Take in those breaths promote mobility and relaxation. You can't mobilize without good breathing technique. And that's why I started this series with breath work because it's so integral to working the deep core and pelvic floor and so integral to mobility as well. If you don't have mobility, good flexibility and mobility, your core is really gonna be inhibited and limited in its potential by those two factors. So we gotta get the breathing down, gotta get the mobility down, and that's why I've got one mobility session every week that we're gonna do this challenge to help us stay on the path to getting stronger. Okay, last one, downward dog. We know this one. If you've done yoga ever, you're gonna start in that quadruped position, lift the heels, shift up and back. I'm not a yoga instructor, so I probably don't have the best downward dog, but I do what I can. Press the hands into the mat, and I like to kind of start out by pedaling my feet to kind of open up the back body to release tight calves and hamstrings. And if you're like me, you've got tight calves and hamstrings, you've got a tight upper back, and that's where we're doing all this stuff, again, to help mobilize, open everything up. And not only is that gonna make this workout challenge more effective and more attainable, it's gonna make everyday life feel better, right? If you've got the demands 
of having little kids, nursing, rocking, carrying a lot of things, or if you sit at a desk, if you read, if you're on your phone, you know, all those things, all those everyday behaviors, we need to mobilize the body to help make those easier on the body. All right, that's it, we did it. That was our mobility workout. That's always my favorite one. So we've made it through one week, congratulations. I hope you keep going with us. We've got two more weeks ahead where we're gonna build on this first week of movements, challenge the core more, and we're gonna do it together. So I'll see you back here for workout number eight.